Good morning and welcome to the Clinic and Co Market Update. It's been a very busy week with interest rate decisions from both the US and the UK and lots of company results. So let's start by taking a look at the interest rate decisions. Both the UK and the US central banks have decided to leave interest rates on hold. And this was largely expected, but it is still hoped that interest rates will come down at some point during this year. The US has made better progress than the UK in terms of getting inflation under control, so it is expected that interest rates in the US will come down before interest rates in the UK. Some investors had been hoping that rates in the US would come down as soon as March. However, in the press conference that followed the interest rate decision in the US, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, suggested they would not come down that early. And that announcement did cause a bit of a wobble in the S&P 500, as you can see on the year-to-date chart here. It did briefly come down by about 1.6%. However, if we zoom out and have a look at the five-year chart, you can see the index overall does remain very buoyant. As we've talked about in this video before, there are seven stocks called the Magnificent Seven that make up nearly 30% of the index. This week, five of those seven stocks have reported, so it's been a very important week for the S&P 500 index. We've had results from Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet, Amazon, and Apple. Tesla's results were out last week and Nvidia's results are not due until the 21st of February. This week, Meta shares were up over 14% after the company announced it would be paying a dividend for the first time. Microsoft had a record quarter. Amazon posted strong growth in its cloud computing division. Apple's revenues were above expectations, but there was a bit of disappointment about the slowdown in sales in China. Alphabet's advertising revenue was a little bit below expectations, but the company did announce that it now has over 70 billion daily views on its YouTube platform. Do give us a call if you'd like to hear about these five stocks in a bit more detail. Something that has become apparent in the latest reporting season is that some companies are struggling with the green energy transition. For example, the demand for electric vehicles has not been as high as some companies hoped. This week, Renault has announced it will be cancelling the IPO of its electric vehicle division, and Volvo has announced it will stop funding Polestar, its electric sports car brand. We've also had results from Shell this week, and the profits for oil and gas were very strong, but the company has attracted criticism for not investing as much in its renewable energy division. The company pays out a lot more in dividends than it invests into renewables. We also had a look at Glencore's production figures when they were published this week. Glencore is a producer of thermal coal, which is the most polluting of fossil fuels. Most countries have been trying to reduce use of this type of coal, but supply chain problems for gas resulting from Russia's invasion of Ukraine have resulted in a resurgence in demand for thermal coal. And you can see here that Glencore's production increased in 2023. And finally, we're always on the lookout for long-term trends, and one that received particular focus during the pandemic was an increase in pet ownership. This has led to a big increase in expenditure on pets, including on pet food, pet toys, medicines, and vet services. And you can see here that expenditure has continued to grow. We've been looking at ways to invest in this trend, so please do get in touch if you'd like to hear more. Moving on to have a look at next week, results season is still very much underway, and we are expecting results out from some big American brands, McDonald's, Costco, and Disney. That's it from us. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.